friends here at WOCA. All right, 12 minutes before 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Um, there's something happening uh, tomorrow that you might want to be part of. The Florida Springs Fest is happening tomorrow. It's from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. at the Silver Springs State Park, one of our favorite places to go. In fact, I have an annual pass for the first time in my life to Florida State Parks because of the fact that Silver Springs is now a state park. Oh, yes, we have some do. great state parks in Florida, actually. Um, yeah, we do. So on the phone is John Hare. He's a board member of the Silver Springs Alliance and a chemistry teacher at Vanguard High School uh, for the International Baccalaureate Program. Well, that's mm-hmm. pretty impressive. Let's yeah. say hello to him. He's not in the studio. I guess this is one of those last-minute interviews, correct? Correct. Good morning, uh, John. How are you? Good morning. Whoa. Uh-oh. You faded out. Are you still there? Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. There must be a short in this thing. You still there, John? Yes, sir. Oh, goodness. Um, I'm about to call back. Something. Right. Something's wrong with that. Okay. See, that, the, the phone did it. The same thing it did this morning. Don't you hate when things go wrong? <laughs> things go wrong. <laughs> Rob is calling you back. Anyway, so the, the Florida Springs Fest is tomorrow from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. at the Silver Springs State Park. Um, on the glass bottom boat side, and not, not the Silver River side, as you know, everybody who lives around here knows, Silver Springs, the attraction, is now Silver, Silver Springs State Park, and which means that the old part, which is, was, this, was the state park, is now joined with the new state park, and they call the whole thing Silver Springs State Park. Let's see if uh, Robin's got, got our guest. No, I guess not. So the festival is free, but entrance to the Silver Spring State Park is $8 per car load, unless you have a pass, like I do. Uh, $5 for a single-person vehicle, if you're, if you're alone in the vehicle. Uh, the website is thesilverspringsalliance.org. And uh, we're trying to get him on the phone. Is he call, calling in or are you transferring him? I transferred him, but I told him if it didn't work, to call in on the 622 line. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, you're right. That won't okay. work right away because that has to reboot. It's, oh, like, a, it's okay. like a computer. Okay, so he's going to call in on the 622 line? Yes. Okay. Uh, so so it's tomorrow from 10 till 4, um, and that's all I know about it. So we have to wait till he comes on the phone. I don't yes. really know what they're doing exactly. Oh, do you? Do you have yes. something? Yep. Let's see. 30 to 35 nonprofits, government agencies, and artists will provide information and artwork. Okay, related to the springs. Yes. Okay, this exactly. this, this might be John here. John, is that you? Yes. Yes. Hi. The other number switching okay. to voicemail. Okay, I don't know what's going on. It's a it's a computer problem on our end. But anyway, thank you for being on there. So, what is the the festival tomorrow? What do, what is it? Well, it's an environmental public awareness uh, event, and we're, of course, we're spotlighting the need to uh, make uh, restoration. Uh, and preservation efforts for Silver Springs and uh, the aquifer and all the fresh water that support these springs that we love. I oh, was wow. thrilled to hear that uh, the springs going into the park prompted you to get an annual pass. Uh, uh, you're going to love having that pass. Yeah, well, a couple of years ago, Robin and I were raising money for the Literacy Council, and the way we did it was we painted landscapes. Not that we're great landscape oh. painters, mm-hmm. but it was just our fun idea. Plain air. <clears throat> and we, we literally drove to, oh gosh, I think 30-something? Yeah. 30-something state parks. parks in the state. Oh, wow. And, and you know why? Because they allow dogs. I wanted my dog to come with me. Sure. Yeah. That's perfect for that. And we yeah. discovered that we have some beautiful parks. And you know what? I really, truly believe this is not just being prejudiced. I really think Marion County, between Rainbow Springs and Silver Springs, I think we've got two of the best in the whole state. We do. And Silver Springs is ground zero for what's happening to our spring systems and our aquifer and the need to uh, conserve fresh water and uh, to restore it to. Um, a, a less polluted condition and the, the message uh, Larry that is so exciting is this is something that can that can happen in our lifetime uh, the water was clear and pristine right up through the 50s and there's so little enforcement of the uh, pollution that's occurring in the water well and so little conservation and the, the waste that's cutting the flow of the water that it's it's something that uh, with a coordinated effort we can all change in our lifetime and pass these springs on 
So I have a so, so I have a question. I have a question about that. When we see yeah. when we see the decline in the number of fish, and we attribute that to the, the runoff from our fertilizers and everything else that we we dump down the drain, does it enter the river underground at the aquifer point, or does it enter the river once the river once the water is out of the aquifer and into the the river? Well, the the harm uh, is occurring to the groundwater through uh, pumping too much of it out and wasting it, causing the flow to be reduced, and too much nutrient from human and animal waste uh, going into that water. And then what happens there is when that water um, comes up uh, to the surface in the Silver River and all the springs outflows that we see all around Florida, especially this part of the state, then the sunlight uh, triggers this algae bloom and um, that causes uh, the, the environmental harm that we see, mm. like you're saying with the wildlife. The dissolved oxygen level goes way down, and we lose dozens of species that are native uh, to that water that people were thrilled to see in the uh, glass bottom boats right. for decades right. that you don't see now. And that's what's causing it. Right. And uh, that's one of the activities people can do. They have to pay extra for it after they um, pay to get into the springs. But we understand you can go on the glass bottom boats and go kayaking and even hiking. And renting bicycles is new, too. Uh, yes. What a great change. Uh, Larry mentioned um, how things changed when the attraction uh, was finally taken out from private lease and uh, incorporated into the park and uh, uh, what a, a terrific change that was uh, and, and going forward that's uh, going to turn that whole um, area around as far as its health, the health to the ecosystem and of course the Vanguard kids were a big part of that because we had uh, two public hearings out here as the um, Parks Department was making that decision. We had no oh, really people two months in a row come out. Do you know we had we had a young girl in the studio, high school age, and I I don't know if she was from Donellan, but anyway, she she came in to express her disapproval of a planned community right up against the Rainbow River. Um, her efforts were, I mean, she lost, the, but but it was, I thought it was wonderful that she was expressing her opinion about it, and they ended up building yeah. the community anyway, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I've had students with me uh, do the radio shows, too. And these students uh, are a marvel once they uh, understand what's happening to their springs. They're, it's uh, on loan to us. Uh, we're passing it on to them in a much degraded condition. So that's why I'm so motivated to get them aware and active in this. Yeah, and right. there'll be 15 to 20 of my students out there volunteering on Saturday. We'll, ha we'll have to come out. That's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I got a pass. I don't have to pay anything. Yes, you do. 10 <laughs> to 4. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you're, you're also, uh, also going to be featuring music from the uh, uh, Lakeware High School Jazz Band. They'll be playing, so that's going to be pretty special, too. And children's activities? Yes, these events are really a celebration of the springs and uh, the park system, and they're so educational. You know, the average person rightly assumes that these protected waters are protected, and this is what was so shocking to me. I, I have bought a piece of property out there by Fort McCoy. Uh, our idea was one day maybe we'll build a cabin out there, maybe our daughters would. Uh, and uh, I had no idea uh, what was happening to the water until we decided to do a research program wow. as a school activity. And um, so people just, uh, you know, are are so motivated by these public uh, education uh, sessions because they realize they can't rely even on the, the That's right. river to protect the water because there's too many competing interests to That's change right. them. Well, good for you for doing that. I love this kind of stuff. You know, I do have a quick question that you mentioned earlier about the, the too much pumping of the water out of the aquifer. Do we blame right. Do we blame the bottling companies? Do we blame us because we just live here and there's too many of us? And if if that's the answer, then what do we do to to remedy that? Well, Larry, there's good data that 60% of the fresh water that's pumped out is used for the grand uh, uh, use of water and grass, which brings us what? Nothing. 
I mean, uh, and so it's just so much of it that's wasted. We water our lawns really when we've got adequate rainfall and recharge naturally uh, of the ground to keep the grass green. Oh, really? Uh, same with the use of fertilizer. So much use of fertilizer that we don't need to do in Florida. So that's, a, again, another uh, thing that's wrong, but it's very hopeful because if people can understand how to wisely just withdraw as the water that they really need and um, add the nutrient to the ground that is, that is all that's necessary. Florida doesn't uh, have any lack of fresh water or, uh, or nutrients. Yeah. Uh, we're just overusing both, over pumping yeah, the water yeah. uh, for mainly appearance and recreational purpose rather, rather than using it to our best purpose. So that you're, you're holding this event in the best place possible. So go out to Silver Springs yeah. tomorrow. It's only $8 a carload. If you're alone in the car, it's only $5. Mm-hmm. If you have a pass, uh-huh. it costs nothing. That's right. Uh, pay That's a right. few extra dollars and take one of those boat rides that everybody else comes to, to Ocala to do. So, uh, mm-hmm. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And, and will you have a booth there? Well, I'm uh, going to be working at multiple booths this time. And our student, I've got a new crop of uh, students that are just learning about this. They'll be doing research next year with me in chemistry. So um, they're going to be staffing, helping staff. I think there's about 17 different uh, booths out there, everyone with a different slant, a different uh, activity, uh, and uh, area of work that they're doing regarding fresh water. All right. Wow, and, nice. Um, yeah, John. It's, it's a postgraduate education all by itself. John Hare, thank you for doing what you're doing. That's the bigger thank you. And also thank you for coming on our show to talk about this and encouraging us to do something about our environment. And for everybody, just show up at Silver Springs tomorrow. Sounds like a fun event, an educational event. You get to meet some folks who are doing some good things for all of us. Thank you, John. We'll be right back. My pleasure. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. More details emerging about the co-pilot who authorities say deliberately crashed a plane full of passengers into the French Alps. We do know from both German Wings now and the Dusseldorf prosecutor that information about his medical condition was hidden. And uh, a a very key aviation psychologist has said that now what is going to have to go on is a sort of psychological autopsy. Fox Amy Kellogg in the French Alps. Our economy grew at a 2.2% rate in the fourth quarter and two people unaccounted for, 25 hurt after three buildings collapsed in New York City in an apparent gas explosion and fire. We just heard a big boom and we run outside and see people running down the street. There's shattered glass everywhere. Con Edison utility officials say work connected to a gas service upgrade had failed inspection just an hour before the fire. Fox Radio's Tanya J. Powers, Fox News. We report, you decide. That's not a lawnmower. That's a zero-turning, fescue-slaughtering chariot of lawn domination, cup holder included. And like all respected machines, it requires a battery, which are now as low as $21.99 with exchange at Napa. That's $21.99 for a lawn and garden battery and the satisfaction of knowing the weekend warrior rides again. Conquer the job with Napa know-how. Participating Napa Auto Parts stores. Offer expires 331.15. The smarter way to manage business expenses. Presented by Concur. After my conference, I checked out of the hotel and the bill was automatically added to my expense report. Then I hopped into a taxi. I snapped a photo of the receipt using Concur and bam, there it was on my expense report. Then I used my corporate card to buy the client's lunch. Another charge added to my expense report. Expense reports that write themselves. Just one of the many ways Concur helps manage your company's spend so you can focus on the big picture. Take a free test drive today at tryconcur.com. Today in Florida Ag News, I'm a Southeast Ag Well, a panel discussion was held during a breakfast last week by the National Wheat Foundation and National Association of Wheat Growers for Ag Day in Washington, D.C. And according to a story from Ag Wired, topics such as biotechnology, sustainability, and research were discussed. One of the participants was Matt Erickson, chief economist for the Senate Agriculture Committee, who talked about big data and agriculture. 
in my opinion, when, when you talk about big data, you first have to introduce the benefits of it. And, and just first and foremost, how this can revolutionize our industry. You know, when I talk with farmers, it increases their crop yields, decreases their input costs. It's got a chance to revolutionize the industry and increase their bottom lines. But when that data leaves the farm, it's important that we address these issues such as ownership, usage, privacy, security. But once we get past that, we can also see this big data component within agriculture flourish. He said their overall message continues to be the importance of innovation and technology in agriculture. A lot of people think I'm superstitious. I never step on cracks. I never keep black cats on the ranch. I never open umbrellas indoors, not even in the barn. And I never let a young calf go unvaccinated. Because young calves are up against a whole lot more than you think. And I'm not just talking about bad luck. But stuff that even their mama's milk can't protect them from in the long run. Like BVD type 1B, the most common subtype of BVD in infected calves. That's why I vaccinate them with Pyramid 5 Plus Pre-Spons SQ. It's the only approved combination vaccine that protects calves from BVD type 1B respiratory disease for at least 217 days. Plus, its viral and bacterial protection shields the unluckiest of calves. <laughs> Even my doomed number 13 calf. Talk with your Beringer Ingelheim Vet Medica Inc. representative today. Learn more at bi-vetmedica.com slash cattle. Randall Wiseman, Southeast Agnet. Chip, you never cease to amaze me. What in the world are you building with all those sticks and cardboard? Well, Mr. Marketing Guy, I'm making signs to announce the great lease offers at Ford Lincoln of Ocala and Village Ford of Bellevue. Really? What do you plan on calling it? Sign and ride. Get it? That's not how it works. Sign and ride is all about fantastic lease offers on Fusions, Escapes, Fiestas, Explorers, and remaining 2014 focuses. Wait a minute. If I understand correctly, 